make some noise. It's a movie, Scorsese, and we in the drive-in with friends, and you know how we do. I got a brother, man, that I, I, we got to boost his spirits because I've known this dude for over 20 years. 20 years. Real talk. We go way back. Stand-up days, making it happen, man. Even before I could drive, man. You remember that? I used to catch, catch rides from San Diego to L.A., man. You remember that? Yeah, we were both single. <laughs> Just having fun, no stress. And then neither of us had kids. Those were good days. I feel when we're keeping it going. It's time to get to this next game. Y'all ready for it? Yeah, let's go. It's called Greenery Screenery. We get to jump into a scene right here on the green screen and make it funny. That's all we have to do. DJ d Rex is going to give us multiple scenes. Our job is to be funny. If we are funny, we get rewarded with a bell. If it's whack, we get that buzzer. <laughs> Team with the most bells wins the game. It's simple as that. Have fun, y'all. Let's go. Your scene is storming the Capitol. <laughs> oh, hey, are you the Capitol? Because I want to inside you quickly. Because I... <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, straight on that gas. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Jesus Christ. It's my Uncle Daryl. Oh, my God. There's my brother Kyle. Why is my whole family here? <laughs> this is why I left. Your scene is in a classroom. Welcome back to Sex Education. Uh, Nick Cannon? Absent, again, okay. In the classroom! In the classroom! Hey, what are we doing in the classroom? Oh, my God. I'm just saying, though, bro. Yo, what you talking about? What's happening? What's happening? Break it up! Break it up! Break it up! You ain't gonna swing? Yeah! I will not piss anyone off with my podcast. I will uh, not piss anyone off with my podcast. Your next scene is visiting the pyramids. Check out my camo toe. <laughs> okay, Cortez, all you gotta do is give me two hundred dollars. You gotta get ten people no, under no, your no, umbrella. No, no, ten. No, 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 I'm not falling for that pyramid scheme. Uh, your next scene is at the Last Supper. Huh. What y'all celebrating? Like a Big Mac eating all <laughs> Jesus' food. <laughs> y'all boys straight on their gag. <laughs> I'm get one shot to talk to Jesus. Where were you? I thought you told me everything was going to be okay. I still forgive you, because I have to, because you got to forgive me if I'm going to get in heaven. Your next scene is on an unemployment line. <laughs> Y'all straight on that game. DJ d Rack, man, that was a fun one, as always. Who won that game? You gotta give that one to Gary and Evolution. Make some noise for him, y'all. He may not be in the best of spirits, but he is kicking our ass with the comedy. Y'all make some noise for Gary Owen. Everybody on their feet. DJ d Rack, take us out. Plenty wildin' out. Make some noise. They said it couldn't happen. They tried to stop us, but we got our own planet, damn it. And we got a superstar in the building. Y'all make some noise for Coyla Ray. <laughs> now, uh, we got this next game. It's called, Are You Smarter Than a Rapper? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Coy, so you ready to do this? Come on, let's do it. I already know, because I know Coy personally. He's truly like a little sister. Super intelligent, genius level of intelligence right here. And she even came out early. I like what you said. You said that you're more than a rapper. You, you want to consider yourself an artist, right? I'm an artist. I'm actually more than an artist. I'm a brand. Like, overall, I do everything, and I live by that. There it is. So we're going to play Are You Smarter Than a Brand Artist? <laughs> Whatever it is, we're going to get to it. Each team member is going to get the opportunity to walk up here on stage and ask a trivia question. If we get it right, we get a bell. We get it wrong, we dumb. Simple as that. Coy, you ready? 
You smarter than a brand. Let's do it. All right. So uh, we're going to try this. You know, we got new technology up here on Planet Wild and Out. I'm going to beam myself up into the virtual box. All right. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> All right, y'all. Team Evolution, Wild Out. Why y'all keep making me play this game? Are you smarter than a rapper? He ain't even smart enough to stop rapping. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Nick? What up, Los? This game is called Are You Smarter Than a Rapper? We joke about your music all the time, but you're a very successful CEO over there at Incredible Music Group. Facts, facts, facts. Gary. So successful that you were able to extend some of that success to some of our cast members. Like Justina Valentine. Yeah. Hitman Holly. Yeah. Seated. Charlie Clips. So my question to you today is, out of all these rappers that you have signed to your incredible music group, which one have you made the least amount of money off of? <laughs> I'm not scared of this question. I would say conceited, because he's the smallest. Oh, my God. God damn. <laughs> he is absolutely correct, because I had asked Hitman who was, but whatever. <laughs> so check this out, man. I'm gonna do a little quick math question. So if somebody sent you like 3,500 on your cash app and you decided to go to the club and buy some bottles with that little pocket change, if each bottle costs $500, how many bottles are you buying? Well, first of all, I'm buying seven bottles and I'm gonna buy Three bottles of 1942, and I'm gonna get like three more bottles of the Casamigos Blanco, and so it's gonna be lit. Okay, okay, absolutely correct. Those seven bottles gonna make that little booty shake, girl. Do your thing. <laughs> All right. So, Cardi B stated in her song that she wants you to hit that little dangly thing in the back of her throat. Now, in anatomy terms, what is the name of that little dangly thing in the back of her throat? See, now, we would think that was the tonsils, but the tonsils are actually on the side. The dangly thing is called, um, I don't know. The answer is uvula. Give him a buzzer. <laughs> can I call you Miss LeRae? Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, Miss LeRae, uh, I got a little zoology question for you. What's the name for the color variety of carp fish often kept on the display in the outdoor pond? A koi fish, period. The only fish. A koi fish is the only fish in the sea. Oh, right. You smart, girl. <laughs> Smart and cute. Ooh. All right, DJ D-Rex, clearly Koi is highly intelligent. Absolutely. Who's smarter, her or I? I got to say Koi LeRae is smarter than Nick Cannon, so give it up for Team Evolution, y'all. There it is, y'all. Hey, yo, we got a lot more game to play. DJ D-Rex, take us out. to get to this first game? Yeah. Masego's in the building, and we gonna play a little something called, ooh, what you scared what of, you scared all right? Of. We gonna turn off the lights so we can get our glow up, and each team member is gonna get the opportunity to walk up here in front of the fire, flash their light, and tell their innermost fears. Ooh. Yeah, and if it's funny, it gets a bell. If it's wacky, it gets that buzzer. <laughs> Teams with the most bells wins the game. Simple as that. All right, Team Revolution, Team Evolution, while out. Masego, you go first. My name is Sam. Ooh, Ooh what, what you, you scared, scared of? I am most frightened of ashy lips. <laughs> what? God. <laughs> They call me Nicholas Cannon. Ooh, what you scared of? Commitment. <laughs> don't do it, you don't need that 
Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Need another one. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate Always good looking out. <laughs> they call me Big Mac. Ooh. Ooh. What? what you scared of? Her saying, get on top. <laughs> yeah, you, you might kill her. You might kill her. <laughs> they call me good credit. Ooh. <laughs> what what you, you scared of? Don't say it. I'll whoop your ass. Hold on, my man. Never mind. Let's go, Candy! They call me Candy and Jay Will. Ooh. <laughs> what you scared of? Gender reveal. <laughs> Funny <laughs> shit. Jim Reveal. Chico <laughs> Pink. They call me Hatfish Hawking. Ooh, what you scared of? Oh. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's a scary sight. <laughs> 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 they call me diabetes. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. What you scared of? <laughs> Grabbing the wrong candy. <laughs> there was a lot of scary shit going on, DJ D Rex. Who won that game? I gotta give that to Team Evolution. Make some noise for Team Evolution, y'all. Everybody on their feet, DJ d -Rex, take us out. <laughs> Plenty wild and out, make some noise. We doing it for the culture, because we supposed to. We up in here, and DDG came to play. Give it up for him. Yeah. All right. Now, DDG, man, you've been here many times before, but now, you know, because of the pandemic, or as you call it, the panoramic, uh, we got you uh, as a hologram, man. How you feeling? Yeah, man, the panoramic got us hologramming it up. But it's all good. We got a lot more game to play, and it's a classic one. We know it. We love it. It's called Kick Em Out The Classroom. And it's a simple time game. At the end of the time, whichever team has the most rappers still left in the classroom wins the game. Simple as that. You ready? DDG, you're going to start it off. Let's get to it. Who won this game? 
I gotta give that to Nick Cannon and Team Revolution. Make some noise for it. The Revolution. We got a lot more game to play, DDG, man. It's not looking good for you, Playboy, but you know what? We got that wild style battle coming up. I need everybody on their feet. DJ d -Rec, take us out. You want more Wild and Out clips? Make sure you click right here, here. You'll see, right here, here. And also make sure you subscribe to the new YouTube channel, right here, right here.